Hey guys, my name is Matt Mueller. I am the store manager of Bicycles Plus here in Flower Mound, Texas. And I wanted to tell you guys about my BMC four stroke FS01 mountain bike. Uh, very, very feature packed, top of the line mountain bike uh, that wanted to share with you guys today. The, the backbone of the bike is a full carbon fiber frame construction, which keeps it very, very light but also translates a lot of stiffness in the bike. So that way the wheels are really connected to the handlebars. When I'm giving it steering inputs, the bike goes exactly where I want. So this bike has the latest drivetrain from SRAM. It is the XX1 uh, drivetrain. Uh, what's cool and unique about this is that you can see it's only got one chain ring up front and nothing to hold it in place. Uh, cool profile on the, the teeth, help hold the chain from coming off. Allows me to run a really, really big spread in the back. So really, really big, easy pedaling gear. Really, really small, hard pedaling gear. Uh, saves a lot of weight and has a lot of performance benefit. If you only have to worry about shifting one, one gear, your gear changes can be quicker, can be more precise. Uh, less to think about when you're out on the trail trying to go fast. Another cool feature on the SRAM XX1 rear derailleur is a clutch mechanism that prevents the derailleur from slapping, helps also keep the chain in place. The key to any dual suspension bike is the shock system, both rear and front. These are the pieces that keep the wheels in contact with the ground. They increase traction. The more traction you have, the faster you're going to be able to go, the more controlled the ride's going to be. Uh, these shocks front and rear have got CTD damping, which stands for climb, trail, descend, which are the three conditions you're going to encounter on the trail. It's got a firmer mode for climbing, a medium mode for flat ground, and then a wide open mode for descending allowing the wheels to keep contact with the ground. They are air sprung, so totally tunable to any rider's body weight. Uh, highly adjustable with different knobs and levers to control rebound as well as compression, uh, both on the rear and on the front. Uh, ends up in a very controlled, very comfortable ride. On my bike, I chose the latest NV wheels, uh, the M60s. They are not only incredibly light, but incredibly stiff. And the stiffness translates into good trail feel, good control, translates my rider inputs into action on the ground, help keeping you know, good control through, through rough, rocky terrain. Uh, they are also a tubeless wheel set, which lets me run lower pressure in the tires, which it translates into even more traction. So we can carve corners real well, uh, smoother ride. This bike has a very small, high-performance saddle. Uh, everyone asks, how can the saddles on these bikes are so small? How can you ride these? Well, the reality with something like this is you are on and off the saddle. You are in an aggressive position. And the more you ride, the less saddle you need. So this saddle, the Tundra 2 from Physique, suits me really well, lets me put the power down strong, and lets me ride comfortably. You guys notice I have an inner tube strapped to the back of the seat here in case of emergencies. If I do flat on the trail, I've got that at the ready. Uh, it's, it's a lightweight pack, keeps things easy and simple for me, so I can change tires fast on the trail. So to keep track of my rides, I use a Garmin Edge computer. Uh, this uses GPS to calculate speed, distance, and location, so I can track ride data, I can share routes with my friends. Uh, this thing normally mounts up on the handlebar, so I can see it in real time when I'm riding. Uh, also has the ability to track uh, heart rate, so I can keep track of my performance while I'm riding. No ride's complete without hydration. This is an insulated podium bottle from Camelback. Help keeps my fluids cool and keep me hydrated. So when it came to stopping my bike, I chose the XO Trail Brakes from SRAM. What's unique about these is they use a four-piston caliper for extra bite on the rotors 
to help me be in the most control possible when I'm trying to slow or stop the bike. For pedals, I have chosen the Crossrock pedal from Mavic. Uh, it's a very light composite pedal. Locks your foot into the bicycle, so that way you can transfer power all the way around the pedal circle. Easy release when I get in trouble. So I got my first real bike when I was 12 years old. It was a Christmas present from my parents, and it represented, it represented freedom to me. I could go anywhere, I could do anything. And here I am, many, many years later, having had many bikes in between and seen technology advance, seen materials advance, to end up where we are today with the pinnacle of mountain bike technology, with exotic materials, crazy technical drivetrains, incredible shocks, really, really makes the whole experience, you know, that much more pleasurable. When I ride my bike, I still feel the same way I did when I was 12 years old. 